conditions for bay' al araya to be permissible are one one must not have anything that he can purchase using except these dates two the amount must be five i.e. 300 sa or less three the resulting value of these fresh dates would be the same as that of the dry dates four one must need fresh dates for eating and must not intend to keep them until they become dry. 5. The fresh dates must be on the trees. The fifth condition, another condition is that the contract must not take place concerning something Islamically prohibited. The product itself can be forbidden just as the Prophet ﷺ prohibited of the sale of alcohol, dead animals, and idols agreed upon. It can also be forbidden due to how it can serve relationships between Muslims, just as the Prophet ﷺ forbade selling over the sale of another Muslim. By saying, for example, to someone who bought a phone for 10, I'll give you one similar to it for nine. Buying over his purchase by saying, for example, to someone who sold his phone for nine, I will buy it from you for 10. And a Najash, whereby somebody who does not want to buy an item increases it, price only to harm either the seller or the buyer, or both, agreed upon. 3. Another type that falls under this is the Prophet ﷺ forbidding separating between slaves who are related, reported by Timothy and Ibn Majah. 4. This also includes if it is known regarding the buyer that he will use the item in disobedience to Allah, such as buying walnuts and eggs for gambling, or buying weapons to cause thickness, tribulation, and corruption, or selling them to bandits. 5. The Prophet ﷺ also prohibited from going out to meet incoming merchandise, saying, Do not go to meet the incoming merchandise. Whoever goes out to meet it and buys from it, then when its owner reaches the marketplace, he is free to choose between continuing the transaction and canceling it. Narrated by Imam Muslim. 6. He also said, ﷺ, Whoever cheats us is not from us. Narrated by Imam Muslim.